continue on from the last session that we did on using our feet, Liam. We focused before without a bat. We're going to continue to work without a bat. This time we're going to implement the ball into the session. Okay? So the group, the skills of moving down the wicket, we explored feet behind and foot tap. Okay. Now we're going to look at when we get to the ball, what we're doing when we get to the ball. Okay. Very simple drill to start with. I want you to start on your batting crease so you're getting ready to bat. I'm going to come into this position. I'm just going to drop a ball around this distance here. I'm looking for you to come down the wicket, catch it, and then pass it back to me. Good. Last one. Perfect. Now I notice with that set, you led with the back hand and you caught with one hand, okay? It was natural for you to do that, but imagine if you're putting this into a match, con match context. If I'm using my feet to come down the wicket, if I have just my bottom hand, I'm going to be tempted, one, to only be able to hit the ball in one area. I'm going to lose my shape and overbalance, and what normally happens with that is I'll bring my back leg through and I'll lose my alignment and lose my power out of the shot. And the second thing is if I don't engage my front shoulder, I don't engage what, do you think? Head. Head, exactly. And the key to playing the ball is good judgment, and good judgment comes from playing the ball close to my head. Yeah. Okay? So what we're going to look to do this time, same draw again, but we're going to come down the wicket in a straight line. I'm looking for you to try and catch, but keep the top hand engaged and try and catch it with two hands. Yeah. Okay? In this drill, another thing, I want you to challenge your partner to try and get the ball before it bounces for the second time. Okay, so trying to work on that movement nice and quick and concise. Ready? Brilliant. Lovely movements. Brilliant, balance, good. Doing really well, so we can take a step forward. Well moved, kept that balance, superb, brilliant. Okay, now you're doing really good with this drill, so I'm gonna move it on quite quickly. Okay, sometimes if people struggle with the drill, you can take a bit lo longer on each stage, but I'm gonna move it quicker. Okay, so this time, I'm gonna have the ball in two hands. So you're gonna have a closer ball to move to, or a further ball to move to, okay? The stimulus this time is you've got a decision to make. You haven't just got one simple skill, close skill, it's now an open skill because you've got to make a decision. So I'm either going to drop it this length or this length. Good. Perfect. Lovely movements. Lovely movements. Excellent. Excellent. One thing we can do with this drill, which is really important, is make sure we don't move too early because we can watch and make sure that we move late enough. That's something that we can review using video analysis. Also have footage of somebody else. If we've got a third person in the group, they could be watching for that and seeing the timing that you move. Okay, excellent. Again, very simple drill. This time I'm going to be looking to drop the ball either to the left or the right, and then we'll discuss why we're doing this in a second, okay? Good. We've got to, we've got to. Yep. If your partner's struggling with a few, then you can take a step forward or back accordingly. Well played, excellent. Go okay, one more. Perfect. So, to recap from that drill, what do you think the focus was on that drill specifically? I think when I went to catch him with the two hands, <laughs> it got my head in a good position when moving my feet down the pitch, which led to me having decent balance. Excellent. Okay, and balance, going back to preparation video I've done in the past, is something you said you're looking for and think is quite key. I want to elaborate on that. When we're batting, whether we're coming down the wicket, standing in our crease, if we're not balanced, we can't get the best contact with the ball. Okay? So it's important that whatever drills we're looking to do around bowling, batting, fielding, it's all about balance. Okay? Fantastic. With that drill, we looked at trying to move in a specific direction, didn't we? Yeah. Okay? And we're going to put, elaborate on that in some future videos. But what we're looking for, if we're coming this way, is maybe what? I think for me, when I was coming out to hit through the offside, when I was yep. doing to that one, I, was, I had different movement patterns because I was trying to get access to that side as opposed to, I think when I was going that way, I was trying to get across here so my yep. body was in good shape. And then when I was coming across to the leg side more, I was probably clicking a little bit more because I found it easier to access that yep. area with a shorter stride. Fantastic. We'll go into the movements we can make and what access it gives us to certain areas to score in, in a later video. But for now, fantastic performance, Liam. Well done. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. Really appreciate the support. If you'd be able to like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you won't miss a video whenever we upload.